Hello, welcome to our online learning. My name is Gerald, teacher Gerald. I am going to take you through language for grade one. Our topic for today is from the unit number five, free time. And so we're going to look at the days of the week and what we also can do or do during our free time. Welcome. The days of the week. There are seven days in a week. The first day is Sunday. The second one is Monday. Do you notice that Sunday is in color red? That's the color code we give to Sunday. Monday is in color yellow. Do you see that? Good. And Tuesday is in color pink. Good. Wednesday is in color green. Then we have Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There are seven days in a week. Five of those days are called weekdays. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Those are weekdays. Two of those days, the last, which is Saturday and Sunday, are called weekends. We find our free time on any one of these days during the week, hopefully after school in the evening. Or on Saturday and Sunday, we would have a lot more free time. That's supposing we don't go to school. Well, you may also be having a lot of time now that it's Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday and you're not going to school. But that's because you're on vacation. So let's find out some activities that people have during their free time. Before we move on to learn a lot more about the activities that people have during their free time, let's remind ourselves about some of the other days of the week. And we say the weekends have a lot of time that can be called free time because Mostly we don't go to school on Saturday or Sunday unless there are reasons why we have to be at school on Saturday or Sunday. And so on Saturday and Sunday, you have a lot more time to do much more than studying or learning. Maybe you go to play. Some of you go to school on Saturday, that's okay. You study, that's okay. But it's also important that you find time to play. It helps you grow really strong. Good. So Saturday and Sunday are weekends. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are weekdays. You could have some free time during weekdays. Most likely after school in the evening. Here are some activities that some students like to do during your free time. Ride a bike. Play football. Ride a pony, play computer games, go swimming, play with toys, watch TV. Let's look at some activities that some students like to do. On Mondays, Jay plays football. On Tuesdays, Pat rides her bike. 
On Wednesdays, Joy plays the piano. On Thursdays, Simon plays computer games. On Fridays, I watch TV. On Saturdays, I go swimming. On Sundays, I play at the park. On Sundays, I play at the park. I hope this lesson has helped you remember the seven days of the week. And it has also helped you remember or to know what activities people do or students go for during their free time. Remember, we use the verbs play, go, watch, or ride. We use ride for riding a bike or riding a pony. We use play for games that have balls to play, like football or basketball or even tennis well we use go for swimming and we use watch when we are viewing the tv or looking at or there viewing the cartoons or learning from our TV screens, we use the word watch. Now, let's go further and learn a bit more by having you practice a bit more. What do you do at your free time? There are seven sentences on this page. You will answer, yes, I do, if you actually do the things that I will ask from every number listed. Or no, I don't, if you do not do them as per my questions. Do you see, yes, I do is in a green box. And no, I don't, in a light brown orange box. Good. Number one. Do you play football on Mondays? Number two. Do you go swimming on Sundays? Number three. Do you ride your bike on Thursdays? Number four. Do you play at the park on Saturdays? Number five. Do you play the piano on Tuesdays? Number six. Do you watch TV on Wednesdays? And number seven. Do you play computer games on Fridays? Let's go to the very last of our practice for today. The practice that is after this will have you take out your pencil and hopefully have this printed for you to be able to write your answers. Let's look at it briefly. Please do the following assignment. It's in an attached document sent over through your parents or your guardians. One, circle the correct words to complete the sentences. Example, do you see number one, I play football on Saturdays? Good, because we say I play. We never say I go football on Saturdays. So you see play is circled. Now circle the correct word in each of the sentences from number two to number six. Next, write the sentences with the words from the boxes and days. 
There are two boxes right below this sentence. Go, play, write, and watch are in the first box. Football, computer games, swimming, TV, ball, and bike are in the second box. And then you will find a list of numbers from number one to six. That's where you will write your answers. You will use the first box to show what happens, what verb you use for the activity. And then you will use the second box to show the activity and the pictures below that to show the days. In fact, all of the pictures, if you read all of the pictures from number one, will tell you what happens on each of those sentences. For example, number one, I play football on Tuesdays. Do you see the picture down there with a boy playing football? Is it written Tuesday? Oh, yes, it is. So the sentence is, I play football on Tuesdays. Number two, look at the picture number two and see a boy in the water. What do you think he does in the water? Mm -hmm. I already told you, use the word go or play or ride or watch to show the activity he is doing from the box number two, which has computer games, swimming, TV, ball and bike. And as you see there, you notice that it's written Monday. So you do the rest of the exercises. That's all for now. See you next time. Have a very Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.